welcome to my channel Kareem Star Tarot. Today I will be doing a special mid-month reading for the star sign Virgo. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading so take what resonates for you and leave what does not. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Remember it's free to subscribe to my channel and I'm looking to reach a target of 1000 subscribers so I would really appreciate all the support you can give me in reaching that goal. Thank you, Virgo. Also, if you're interested in donating to my channel to help keep it going or purchasing a private reading from me, then just click on the links in the description below this channel. Thank you. So, I've already pre-shuffled the deck and I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck for this reading. Uh, but I'm going to shuffle it again for you on camera. I've also laid out two cards from the Secret Language of Colour Tarot deck for you. And cross watchers are welcome to join this reading. Virgo let's begin your reading so the first card you have is the four of pentacles so I feel that in mid April to mid May I feel that you are going to be quite fearful I think it's because you're afraid of letting go of something or something that is perhaps quite dear to you but I feel that you might have to face that inevitability with this situation that you're in. I think that you just don't want to let go of things because your emotions are pretty high at the moment. The feelings that you feel for this person are very special indeed. But I don't feel like those feelings have been reciprocated by this person I feel like this person is being pretty distant and very changeable one minute they're talkative they want to want to see you the next minute they don't and you never know really quite where you stand with this person and I feel even when you were together I feel that this person had you so mixed up had your had your emotions jumping all over the place and I think that this person's been pretty unfair to you really but I feel that in both your cases the situation the current situation you're both facing I don't feel either one of you is accepting this but it could also be for you personally that you might not be facing those truths of your situation and pentacles is earth energy so you could be dealing with capricorn taurus or virgo then your next card you have is the ten of pentacles so with the ten of pentacles i i think that you do want that perfect balance and harmony within your life and i do feel at one point maybe you had that kind of dream with this person maybe you now see it as a bit of a delusion to be honest with you because you think that you know it was merely nothing more than a pipe dream because this person 
I feel that you know is not capable of making such a a commitment to you and I think you were hoping that over time this person would want to commit to you in a full in the fullest sense and I feel though this is a still quite a positive card for you to have in your deck though because this does indicate that even even if your situation isn't ideal for you now and it's breaking your heart and mixing up your emotions i feel that there is happiness and abundance coming in for you coming your way this card definitely speaks of it and especially for those of you in your career and in your financial situation there's definitely going to be improvements in both those areas and again pentacles is earth ng so you could be dealing with capricorn taurus or virgo then for your next card you have the nine of wands so i feel with the nine of wands you are perhaps thinking about things i think going over things in your head perhaps you're weighing up your options wondering what you what to do next i think because i feel that you there's part of you a big part of you that's perhaps still holding on to I say the word very loosely, relationship, if you can call it that. It might be on your side, but I don't feel it's a relationship in the true sense on the other person's side. But you're still holding on to this because you have genuine feelings for this person. But this person, I feel, it has disregarded your feelings and taken advantage of you because I think they know that you had very strong feelings or you have a very strong feelings should i say i feel that in mid april to mid may i feel that you will be wondering how to move forward because i feel that you are trying to fight against your feelings you know you have to move on and it's the hardest thing that i think you're going to have to do for yourself if you can find the strength to do that and one's this fire energy, so you could be dealing with Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. And the next card you have is the Strength card. I feel that this is an extremely appropriate card to come out at this stage. Because, like I said, it is going to be a struggle finding that strength that you need to move on. To do what's right for you. But this card coming out tells me that you will find that inner strength. You will persevere and you will overcome these problems. Perhaps overcome this person and, and not have such a weakness for this person. Let this person take advantage of you. I think that you will have the strength to move on. Yes, there, it's going to be a struggle, it's going to be a battle. It's, these things are never he, easy where the heart is concerned. Now, when you feel so strongly about someone, despite how they treat you, it's still hard to move on, even though you know that's the best thing to do. But I feel that you will find that strength within you. And perhaps in the long run, I feel you will surprise a lot of people when you do this because I'm not sure people think that you can do this but I feel that perhaps they don't know you as well as they probably could know you or or know what you're capable of when you really put your mind to it because I think deep down once you face your inner truths I think you'll move on it will be painful but i think you'll get there and i will see i think things will start turning around for you where your strength is concerned your resolve to do what's right for you i think we are probably looking at may some at some point in may where you will start seeing things a little bit more clearer perhaps i am veering on mid may to the end of may perhaps where you 
start to do what's right for you. Then your next card you have is the Nine of Swords. So yes, you, like I said, are really struggling with this. You are very much in your head, I think, in April, mid-April. Not, you're not able to sleep. I, I don't think you're going to get be getting a lot of sleep. I feel that it's you might let things slip where you're concerned. Do you know the things that you normally do, everyday things for yourself? Those might slip. Those sort of things, and you need to start thinking about yourself and taking more care of yourself but it's very hard I think for you because I feel that this is all like a nightmare for you and I, I do feel that you're you're very I suppose worried reliving events in your mind looking at going back over every details trying to see whether you can think where you might have gone wrong just squarely putting the blame on yourself being very over analytical self-critical when you shouldn't be because you have done nothing wrong this is the responsibility of the other person but you by being like this and, and being this way, you're giving them that power still, that power over you, that control over you. And they probably they probably know this about you. But like I said, I feel that you will come out of this. And you will find that resolve, that strength that you need to do what's right for you in the end. And wands is, and sorry, swords is, is air energy. So you could be looking at Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. And the next card you have is the Page of Pentacles. So I do feel like you you are going to be starting afresh. Because this card can indicate that there is a fresh start in store for you. Might not see it yet. But I'd say, like I said, you will find the resolve to move on and do what's right for you. You will start afresh. And this is a card that tells me that you are going to be doing that. I feel this card is also saying that there is luck on the horizon for you. It, you know, there's some positivity out there for you. There's some luck in your life in, in, the, in the near future. Once you move on, you're... You, your luck will change, your life will change because you'll start to gain more confidence and change things, turn things around for yourself, start to restore that faith in yourself that you lost, start to respect yourself and have some self-worth and pentacles is earth and so you could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. And the next card you have is the ace of swords so I, I do feel that you will be speaking to this person very and and your words will be very harsh because i think you as as much as you really care about this person you feel very hurt and angry and i feel you'll be making sure this person is the aware of how you are feeling but i'm afraid it's possibly going to fall on deaf ears this person i i don't know i feel that this person almost gets a sense of satisfaction at seeing you so emotional seeing you so angry seeing seeing how they can make you feel this way what how what they've managed what state they've managed to get you into you know the way the effect they've had on you i think because i think they they're very much overconfident and that's their arrogance that's the arrogance of that person because 
I think they feel that they can have you back at any time and perhaps in part that is true at the moment because your emotions are so raw and you're so desperately pining for this person and still really care but hopefully you can just keep that resolve you know just stay strong because your strength will grow so that you can resist this person because it will def you definitely will be able to eventually like i said coming into mid-may to the end of may you, your strength will be so so big you, you know you will be able to resist this person i think in a lot of ways anything connected with this person i think this card does suggest that you you know it does tell me that you will be cutting out anything that doesn't serve your great good you're having the harsh words now and the anger but you still care but eventually this card tells me that you will cut out this person cut this person out of your life for good and this is air energy so um sorry so aquarius gemini or libra then the next card you have is the five of cups so i think in mid ma in mid april uh, definitely mid april going into may yes you're you're gonna have extreme sadness you are going to be depressed definitely uh, you're going to be in this state for a while and understandably because your heart is broken so you know and, and you feel an immense sadness and because of all this you can't see the positives or any type of positivity in your life at the moment you're just focused on all the negative sides all the negative aspects and you know i think that filters out into all areas of your life because this is how profoundly affected i think you are by the way this person has treated you and and you do feel like just being alone alone with your grief your sadness your depression but you're not seeing that there might be positive alternatives out there for you not at this particular moment not not in mid-april but like i said at some point in may that will change for you you will start to see that there's light at the end of the tunnel that there is there is something better for you out there and cups this water and juice you could be dealing with pisces cancer or scorpio so like i said there i go don't lose hope you definitely will have that strength to do what you need to do for yourself and remember you've got a lot to look forward to lots of luck coming into you with this ten of pentacles definitely luck coming your way so let's see what the secret language of color tarot deck have to say and what color you have been assigned or given for luck to help support you through these dark periods so you've been given the color aqua very calming color i think it says experience peace and calm absolutely because this is a color of serenity and tranquility and peace it can help to soothe your mind and calm your nerves so i would say definitely surround yourself with this color and if you can go swimming in aqua waters let that help soothe you very be very calming for you i think that it's a very meditate meditative color and it helps you to experience inner stillness of your mind color is the color of patience faith because you need to have more faith in yourself and acceptance accepting your situation for what it is and coolness aqua allows to dissolve your fears and increase your confidence and belief in yourself 
So definitely a colour that you need to have around you on your person most definitely something in this colour to help you have some self-belief to help you improve your confidence so let's see what your next card is what colour you've been given oh lovely colour violet you've been given violet and it says create a balanced life so definitely you need to find that peace and that harmony within your life at the moment you haven't got that at all and this color believe it or not this is very good to have around you if you suffer from insomnia or any kind of problems with emotional conflict you know that plague in your mind this this color can really help with those two things so i definitely think this is a color that you should def definitely have around you definitely wear something in this color because this color can balance your energy and revitalize you and program your cells open your intuition and your creativity because i feel you're a very creative person and you perhaps have neglected that area but you need to get back to that because that made you happy i think extremely happy when you when you allowed yourself to be creative and give you a really good release of karma and again your freedom freedom help you heal those past issues and you definitely got some issues to heal be at peace with them what has happened has happened forgive yourself Learn the lessons that that relationship taught you and move on. Realise that you have more value and more worth. Okay? So that was your reading, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it and I really wish you all the best of luck. Honestly do, because I think you will get there in the end, Virgo. You're, very, you're stronger than you realise, put it that way. And you're definitely very creative. So start, start reawakening those creative juices of yours so thank you for joining me at queen of star tarot for your mid-month special reading virgo and before you go if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate your support in subscribing to my channel also if you are interested in donating to my channel or purchasing a private reading from me then remember just click on the links in the description below this video so again Virgo thank you for joining me and I hope it all goes well for you and I'm sure it will so don't lose heart and I will see you very soon Virgo bye